The following is a Thorf TV production brought to you in cooperation with Jack Thorfinson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pre Hard Target Show. Tonight we'll be looking at the Ruger SP 101 357 Magnum. Welcome back to the Pre Hard Target Show. Let's get the show started off right, Jack. Jack, you made me something special here, I see. Mmm, beet juice, Jack, with lemon and blueberries. Yeah, okay. I think, I think this smells like there's a little broccoli in there, Jack. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Mmm. Ah, I was wrong, Jack. It's got garlic and hot sauce in it. It's tomato juice and, and blueberries. Yeah, they'll smell me coming from a mile away tomorrow, Jack. <laughs> well, that's, that's either supposed to cure me or kill me, I guess. This is what we're looking at tonight. Jeez, Jack, you left a loaded gun on the table. My, my Ruger SP-101 and 357 Magnum, we're going to take this out and shoot it at the beautiful AR-500 steel hard targets by, by hard target this weekend. And I decided this was a good one to shoot because we're into that season where you pull out those J-frames and LCRs and start using them, those little five-shot snubbies. And this is my favorite five-shot snubby. It's probably the heaviest one on the market, but... It's a very accurate firearm, and yeah, I really do enjoy shooting it. So that's what we're going to shoot this weekend. Of course, the SP-101 by Ruger comes in a variety of different barrel lengths, 3-inch, 4-inch, and a variety of calibers. I'll put a little listing here of the different calibers they have for this firearm. It's really kind of impressive, and I have to do that because I can't I can't rattle them all off because they seem to change them every week. <laughs> I I think right now they're going every from everything between a 22. Well, I'm not too sure about the 22 Magnum anymore. At, at least a 32, all the way up to the 357, a nine millimeter in there too, I think. But I'll put the list up there, make sure I get it right. This gun, of course, is stainless steel, and it has, like all Ruger revolvers, a coil mainspring. It makes it a little more durable, rugged, and reliable than the old leaf spring design of the J-frame. Just a fantastic little gun, and of course, as the barrel lengths get bigger on these things, then they start putting adjustable sights on there, which... This has a pin front sight, and there are tritium sights you can put in there. So you could take that pin out and pop one in, fit it yourself, and do it in theory. Or take it to a gunsmith and have it done, but there are sights specifically available for this specific gun that would allow you to do that. So you can, can get away from this, just the black front sight and... The rear sight, of course, there's not much you can do about that without spending a lot of money on a gunsmith to put a rear sight on the back. But a lot of experts nowadays are getting away from the concept of the rear sights being as, as elaborate as the front sights, as in when they put night sights on, a lot of people, a lot of the experts suggest to have it just on the front. And there's different reasons for that, but I think the real reason, when you really get down to it, if you keep your eye on the front sight, you're going to be able to do the job you need to do. The front sight's the important thing to always use the front sight for accuracy. And if you're familiar with Jeff Cooper and his work, this is one of the things that came out of the studies Jeff Cooper did, is they found that the uh, when the sights were used, the shot placement was much improved and it actually didn't take any more time to use the sights than it did to not. But you might want to check out Jeff Cooper's work on, on the 
sites in that regard and yeah use your sights guys so there you go this is what we're shooting this weekend the Ruger SP 101 I hope you tune in on Sunday morning Jack how are you doing today you look good he's been working his tail off I tell you he's been out there working every day helping me get all the stuff we need to get done to get ready for next winter that'll be here in no time Thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. Till next time, for Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. Look, that's only six minutes and 20 seconds of your life. You'll never, ever, ever get back again. <laughs> Watching some guy drink, yeah, garlic beet juice. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, seriously, Jack, this one's hard to swallow.